Let's uh, move on on TVC Breakfast at this time. And uh, reactions are still trailing. The article written by a veteran journalist here, Samuel Mache, a few days ago, another television station had a discussion on cyberbullying with investigative journalist David Hunday. Now, in reaction or reacting to Mr. Omashe's interview, Mr. Hundayin referred to a particular picture on social media alleged to be that of Mr. Omashe. I remember Sam Omashe himself, 2014, at one of those political rallies come, come protest things that they used to do, where he held up a goat and put a placard around the goat's neck and said, my name is Jonathan, on the placard. Sam Omashe did that. David Hunde there in that uh, interview, I think that was last week, uh, but then he was specific in his response when he was talking about the issue of cyberbullying. He was specific, pointing at or referring to a picture of a, of a goat with the tag, my name is Jonathan, and then he specifically mentioned the name of Sam Omashe as the person who carried uh, that image. And um, I think he said so about twice. He said so more than once yes, in, in, yes, that, in that clip. Yes, Sam. he was saying that um, that uh, the, uh, the the elections, the the, the 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 internet, that the internet was not as uh, vibrant as it is today. So I was able to get away with it then, but now I couldn't get away with it. And I just think that Nigerians should just uh, look and look at the picture and see that that is not. Mm. That is not Samo Mache. Uh, it is not me. Uh, I was really incensed when I first saw it, but uh, I, um, I forgive him. But the, the thing is that people should realize that people like him are those that give the social media a bad name. They are the people who try to exploit the gullibility of the mass of Nigerian people because they want to make a career out of the misery and, uh, and, uh, and uh, assassinate people who are innocent of uh, anything. If you have a grudge against a person, go with the facts, not um, with lies. Um, I've been in this profession for a long time. I've been in this profession since 1985. I have won awards in Nigeria, I've won awards in Canada, in the UK, and in the United States. I taught journalism and media in the US University for close to 10 years. I was a technology reporter. I started tracking as a reporter the development of digital journalism and digital life before some of these people were born, before when the other was pre-digital life to digital life. I was a reporter reporting how it tracked, how we, how we went from just um, a rotary phone to where we have digital to cell phone to where we started having internet on there and what can, all of these that we are seeing today, I'd experienced them in their original form. I saw all of it form until they became uh, 3G, mm. even 4G, and all. there was 1G. I reported it from 1G up to up to 3G. I, I reported 4G even before even 3G before 3G came out. 4G before 4G came out. So we know all of this. When you are doing investigative journalism, get the facts. They say facts are sacred. Opinion is free. Some of these young people don't understand that when you do journalism. You have to be true to the facts, and you don't exploit people just because you want to take advantage right. of them. Mm -hmm. I was really angry at the beginning. I was trying to consult my lawyers, but I said, no, no, no. Um, Euripides said mm. that uh, it is not an easy task to restrain a young man in his prime, in his play Alcestis. And as a, as a Christian, I let it go, but I won't take it again now. But Paul, Paul said in, in Hebrews 12:15 that uh, we should not allow bitterness spring up because it defies us. Mm. But next time this kind of thing happens, they'll be held to pay. Thank you.
All right. Well, the, I point, think, uh, the point is taken. Ju ju and, yeah, right. ju just to add to that point there is, re reflecting from the picture you saw there, right. the issue is that we are all bound as broadcasters and as broadcast stations on self-censorship. Right. Because right. one way or the other, even if somebody makes it clean, you should be able to verify right. whether this right. is the person or not. Right, yeah. absolutely. The facts speak for themselves and, you know, we must indeed all be circumspect in our roles as journalists.